Marela Godina is a hero to his supporters and thousands of excited well-wishers formed a guard of honour to escort his convoy the nine miles from the detention centre on the outskirts of Addis Ababa to his home in the nearby town of Pareu. The leader of the Oromo Federalist Party had been arrested after returning from a visit to Brussels a year ago. He was accused of collusion with outlawed groups, a charge he always denied. For myself, I have never violated, violated the law. I was a former member of a parliament. I know the constitution and the law. Um, I have been always, uh, you know, respecting that. Anyway, it's good that I'm out. His freedom came as part of government efforts to stem a spreading wave of violence and unrest, which flared up in 2015, has claimed hundreds of lives and threatens the stability of one of Africa's fastest growing economies. On January the 3rd, in a move aimed at defusing the tension, Ethiopia's Prime Minister announced he would release many prominent dissident politicians. With our, with our party and the members, we will decide in the next days and the weeks what to do and what not to do. Especially how to deal with a government call for national dialogue. If it is real and honest, we are for it. But Amnesty International and other observers warn that a few high-profile releases will not be enough. The regime has to do more, has to rescind these uh, draconian laws, has to institute uh, judicial reform, uh, security sector reform, a, com a complete overhaul of the electoral system. Without this, uh, I don't think um, the people will be re uh, satisfied. Thousands of prisoners of conscience are still in jail, accused or prosecuted for protesting against the government. In a statement, the U.S. Embassy said it was encouraged by the latest releases. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera.